everyone in Hoover Elementary, Dr. G here on Hawk TV, wishing you all a very happy Tuesday. It's Tuesday. It's Tuesday. Another fun day. Woo! 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 And another day closer to the Super Bowl. At this time, please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. At this time, please remain standing for a brief moment of silence. Thank you. You may be seated. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, my goodness. So much, so many amazing things to talk about today. So, first of all, we're still looking for that time capsule. There are some students and even some staff who have found it. They have located it. It's in plain sight. It's about the level of a kindergartner. It's not really up high. A kindergartner should be able to see it. And there's a plaque. At the beginning of the show, there's a little plaque. If you can find it, that might be very exciting for you. And we're going to try and get Mr. Stanford here. And we're going to try and get Mr. Chris Stanley here. And maybe some other folks when we actually open it up. It will be awesome. I think there are some teachers who are actually here in 2005 when it was sealed. I don't know, maybe Miss uh, McKenna or Miss Goodwin or Miss Barber, but they might even remember what they put in there. And it was supposed to be opened in 2015. Well, that's like eight years ago. I wonder where those folks are who were at Hoover in 2005. Are they in high school now? Are they in college? Are they working? We'll have to find out. And I wonder, after we open it up, maybe we should put our own stuff in there so that maybe 10 years from now, in 2033, me or another Hoover principal could crack open the time capsule. Because I wonder what life was like back in 2005. Did they have Twitter? Did they have YouTube? Did they have iPhones? I wonder what life will be like in 2033. Will we still have iPhones? Who knows? Should be fun. Should be interesting. All right. What else is going on? So we've got um, our monthly second step theme this month is friendship skills. And we're talking about all kinds of things like inviting students to play. How do you do that? Like if you see somebody who's not playing, can you nicely say, hey, come join us. It'd be fun. It's always more fun when more people are playing together. And then the second skill for this month for friendship is playing fairly. Because once you are playing together, it's only going to be fun if you play fairly. All right. You don't want to not play fairly. And then sometimes even the best of friends, they have little challenges, little bumps in the road. So we need to talk about the skill of making amends, how to say you're sorry, how to forgive your friend, how to work together so that the friendship can be strengthened. And then finally, how do we handle name calling? We don't really like name calling. We don't think that's a good way to be respectful or responsible, but it does happen. And it sometimes even happens with friends. So these are all things that we'll be talking about in the second set program this month. Dun, dun, dun. How about this? Did somebody say there was a football game coming up? Oh, yeah. And it's Black History Month, right? And how about the history making that's going to take place at the Super Bowl? First time two black quarterbacks are going to be facing off against each other. Jalen Hurts and Patrick Mahomes. Pictures of both at the beginning of this show. That's history in the making this week. That's incredible. Now, you all know Ms. Valeri, right? Ms. Valeri is our library assistant. She helps Ms. Clark. She probably helps you check out books. Ms. Valeri is a huge Eagles fan, okay? And she goes to lots of Eagles games. And she actually got dun, 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 a mini Eagles helmet. And it is signed by T.J. Edwards, number 57. 
And you're probably saying, oh, Dr. G, you pull our legs sometimes. Is that really authentic? Dun, dun, dun. Certificate of Authenticity signed by Jeffrey Lurie, Chairman and CEO of the Philadelphia Eagles. This certificate hereby certifies that this item is 100% authentic and has been verified by a Philadelphia Eagles representative. One autographed mini helmet signed by TJ Edwards, number 57. So here's the deal. So Ms. Valeri is being very kind and she has donated this helmet signed, autographed by a real Philadelphia Eagle to be raffled off at the end of this week. And one of the lucky winners is going to be one of our teachers. It's going to be one of our teachers in our school. Now, you might say to yourself, how could a teacher possibly get a ticket that we could put in the hat so that we could pull out the raffle and say, oh, it's this teacher? Here's how we do it. Every time Miss Ring or myself see a class that's walking quietly in the hall, that's being respectful, responsible, and safe, that's going to a level zero immediately on the playground or going to a level zero immediately in the cafeteria or making good choices on the bus. All of those times that we see that, Miss Ring and I are going to write down that teacher's name and put it in the box, okay? And in addition to making great choices, we also want to see some great school spirit. So it is possible that a teacher's class could get extra raffle tickets if they share with us some of their school spirit and maybe, you know, make a little video of them singing the Eagles theme song or maybe sending us a picture of everybody wearing Eagle stuff. You could get extra points for that. But the main way to do it is to be respectful, responsible, and safe. Because if we all work together, we can have the best school year ever. All right? All right. Have a great day, everybody. And I will see you probably in the cafeteria and on the playground, maybe even on the bus. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>